All right, uh, I had a patient in today that uh, was complaining about not getting results in here um, and that chiropractic won't help them. Yada, yada, yada. Heard this thing before numerous times. So here's where uh, I, the conversation went at that point. I asked them, what have you done to help yourself? And they kind of looked at me like I was an idiot and um, were thoroughly perplexed from it. So again, have you changed some of the dietary stuff we talked about to, to lower your inflammation on there? Nope, haven't done that. Um, have you uh, been getting up at work and moving around a little bit more? Nope, haven't done that. Uh, have you been doing your exercise at home? I asked for five minutes a day, that's all. Even three minutes a day is all I'm looking for. I uh, did it for two days, and that was it. At that point, we're two weeks into it on there. Um, have you been uh, showing up for your appointments? Well, like most of the time, not all the time, maybe 75% of the time. Well, there you go. So here's the thing. The reasons you don't get a result are very simple. Is one, you lack discipline. You lack discipline to do the little things consistently. You can do it for a day, you can do it for two days, but you cannot consistently do it. If you can't consistently stick to something, you will not get a result, whether it's coming, walking your butt in here or doing your stuff at home type of thing, or stop eating crap type of deal, or going to bed at an earlier period of time, or spending five minutes a day, give me three minutes a day of doing something to help yourself out. If you can't do that, you won't get better. You lack discipline with it. Number two, you're addicted to how you feel right now. That sounds stupid, but you're addicted to the discomfort and the the uh, validation for you not doing something else in your life to the point which you don't actually want to get better, period. That sounds stupid, but it's the truth. If you truly don't want to get better because of what it allows you to do versus what excuse it eliminates for you not to be able to do this, not to be able to do that. And you always have that little, uh, that sandbag thing you got there to say, well, I can't do this because of this type of thing. Well, that's crap. And you're lying to yourself that you actually want to get better. And lastly, it goes along with that as well too, is you are so full of excuses that you will never get better. And, and by that, I simply mean is that you get an excuse for everything. You don't have time in the day. It's too hot out. It's too cold out. It's too rainy out. You can't go for a walk. You can't do that type of thing. You don't have the equipment. Uh, you don't know how to remember to, to get your butt up out of your chair every two or three, four hours, even at, at work to try to help yourself out. If you can't do those things, you will not get better. Stop with the excuses. Stop lying to yourself. You don't actually want to get better. You didn't do your part. Don't blame the provider, period, plain and simple, end of story. Good night.